I'm leasing through you guys independently or I'm leasing through a in a, a a different contract I mean contractor for a lease. Well, it works like this. You will sign up the lease agreement with us, and then when you finish the contract, the truck will be yours. There is no balloon payment in the end of the contract, so uh, a truck will be yours after the last uh, the last paycheck, right? Okay. However, it's a walk away lease, so whenever you want to walk away in the middle of the contract, in the beginning of the contract, whenever you decide to walk away, we are not going to charge you for the rest of the contract. All you have to do is stay. What's going on, everybody? Lockout Men back again with another video for that ass. That's what's up. I am Lockout Men, and welcome to the Lockout Men podcast show. This is this episode right here that we about to get into. It's the MTC edition. And of course, that is to make the call. That's what I do. I make these calls for you guys so that you guys can get a better understanding of the company that you might be interested in you want to hear from the recruiter and see what they have to say about the company that they that they want to that they want to promote to you you know what i'm saying now this particular company like i got you know the suggestion was you know lockout i you know i've seen a lot of these trucks but i'm not able to find information on the on the web about them and that is true i wasn't when I went to do my research, I only found one video on YouTube. No YouTubers works there and no other information to be found. I mean, I found the little I, I only found. I found uh, a couple of reviews that we'll talk about that in a minute. But before we get into all of that, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell and that all button. That all button lets you know when I drop videos and that all button lets you know when I go live. I normally go live about eight o'clock-ish. So stay tuned for that. But what I really wanna talk to you guys about is that like button. Yes, sir. Uh, let's break that like button down for a minute. Now, as I continue my YouTube travels, I know that this like button and dislike button has something to do with YouTube getting the information out. So help me help you get this information out to somebody that may need it. You happy to do for me? I'm happy to do for you. All right. Hit that like button. Let's try to get I'm I'm looking on an average of at I'm not I'm not choosy. I'm not choosy. I'm looking on an average of at least 20 likes per video. And then we can go from there. If we can get 20 likes, then YouTube will see that and then they will start pushing the video more. So help me out to get this uh information out. Lockout men, who are we calling today? Who are we calling today or who have you called already? Super Ego. That's E-G-O. That's it. Super Ego Holding out of Bensonville, Illinois. Their phone number is three. I mean, six, three, zero, five, zero, six, eight, eight, six, nine. Yes, sir. I called this female, uh, female recruiter. She sat down. It was real, real painful. I'm, I'm going to have to admit the call. Oh, my God. Uh, how can I? The call was good, per se, you know, with the with the information that she was giving me. But the call quality was atrocious. I mean, it was like it was like she was sitting in the middle while everybody around her in the back was just making all sorts of noise and just, you know, everything. And it was too much reverb, especially towards the end of the call. I started hearing myself talk. Are you there? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, but hopefully uh, I was able to get some valuable information out to you guys. So let's talk about them some more. Let's head over to the big board. That's what's up. Super Ego. 
about us, who we are. We are a family-owned company with over seven years combined in the trucking industry. Our company is well positioned to serve customers in the United States. They are located in Bensonville, Illinois. What they do. We are a leader in the transportation industry using creative and in and innovative ideas in order to provide the best quality customer service possible. We provide high quality service at best rate back with dependable service. They provide 48, uh, 48 states, 53 feet drive-ins, flatbeds, expedited, trans, uh, transportation of high risk loads, reefer trailers, single and teams. Uh, unfortunately, they're not hiring company drivers, at least not at this time. So basically all we just talked about was the lease purchase, lease operator, owner operator type deal. If you're, if you're coming in as a lease purchase driver, it is 88% of the load. And if you're coming in as an owner operator with your own truck already, it is 90% of the load, which which will net around maybe about two or three thousand dollars a week at the most but you got to realize that when you do lease purchasing you got to you you got to know the details you really do you got to know the details and we get into that we'll, we'll get into that in this call but before i jump to the call i i i gotta say i gotta say it was hard looking for this company i was able to find this facebook post right here where right here they're leased to buy zero down leased to buy a 2021 20, trucks zero down 650 dollars a week five years leased to buy 2016 trucks zero down 500 500 a week two and a half years uh the 2016 she said that the mileage will be anywhere between 200, 200,000 to 400,000 miles already on the truck. So be careful. Also, the 2016s are manuals. So if you want a manual, you go with a 2016. You want an automatic, you go with a newer truck. No force dispatch. We pay 88% of each load. 24-7 dispatch and maintenance support. Now, let me tell you guys something about the maintenance. Now, the maintenance is on you, not them. On you. So if your truck break down, it's on you. They, they will probably pay for it, but it's going to come out of your settlement. I'm just saying. Uh, they run all 48 states. So you can get in contact with these people right here. Uh, Mal uh, Melina, Emma, Tom, and Danny. Uh Super Eagle Holdings. Now this is now this is their Facebook. Now I was able to go back and see if I can find anything else about this company because like I said, it wasn't it wasn't much. It wasn't much about this company. So I did come up I did come up with Glassdoor. Now, I went to Glassdoor. They only have 3 reviews and <laughs> some of the reviews is not good <laughs> i'm just saying um uh, alaska mimic gets more involved in your company representatives your representatives are going to destroy what you built not sure what that means uh cons pros drivers stay safe and may god bless you uh but this driver he only been working there for less than a year Again, you might want to take it with a gain of salt, but he says dispatchers double book on loads and double book on loads and load boards. English is an issue. Everything you choose to purchase buys them another one. Owner Alas uh, Alaskander Mimic may be on top and enjoying life right now, but he but if he doesn't get deeper involved with his company, his representatives will drive the company into the ground. All right. So that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying about uh, about being a runner. This company may not be for you if you don't have the mindset to 
to do it. This this particular company, like all others in the past, you got to be you got to have the mindset to do it. You got to have a plan. You got to have you got to have some type of plan. You got to have an out because these particular companies are not there to retire us. I'm just saying, let's let's go back. Um, this driver says fully dishonest, unprofessional and deceitful. He says the pros is none. He worked for Super Ego less than a year. Very nice recruiter. Emma painted a sheer fabrication regarding their lease purchase program. Arrived in, uh, arrived in Chicago at my own expense to have a day and a half wasted. Again, <laughs> when you do your research, this is what I mean by doing your research. You know, when you when you vet in a company, you know, like if you see somebody that want to talk about the company or something like that, you got to do your research. You really do. You gotta you you gotta find you gotta find stuff like this. But then, like I said, the 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 reviews that some of the reviews are a mixed bag is because you know how they actually feel about the company. It could be good, could be bad. In this case, <laughs> it's bad. Um, that oh wait wait wait. Okay, here we go. Uh, this driver says they suck. They suck. I've been working at Super Eagle for full time for less than a year. Now, here's a common thing. Uh, a common theme is that these three particular drivers have been working there for less than a year. So maybe six months, maybe four months, maybe eight months. You know what I'm saying? You know, you probably still got to dig a little deeper to find maybe find a company driver which they're not hiring for company drivers right now, but you might have to just find a, a driver that drives for the company and pretty much ask him how he feels about Super Ego because there's a lot of their trucks out here in the Chicagoland area. Uh, go home. The pro is go home where you want. Cons, you have to run illegal to make money. Also, they don't care to fix the equipment like trailers when needed. They will screw your CSA points and be in the poorhouse. So, yeah, super ego, super ego. Well, we <laughs> pretty much see all the reviews on that. Let's get into the call. Uh, yeah, we got some good disco music going on for the hold, huh? Yeah. How can I help you, sir? Uh, yes. Um, I'm looking to speak with a a recruiter. Is this Super Ego? Ego? Yes, sir. Just a second, please. All right. I'm Super Ego Trucking Company. How can I help you? Hey, Danny. How's it going? It's going good. How about you? Uh, it's going good. It's going great. It's going great. Um, well, let me let me start off by saying that as long as I've been as long as I've been coming up here to Illinois, I have been seeing more and more of you guys trucks out here. So my name okay. my name's yeah, Sean. That's right. <laughs> my name's Sean. Okay. I'm a five year truck driver, and I'm I'm just calling to see if I could get a uh, get a little bit more information about Super Ego, if I may. Mm-hmm. Okay, sir. Did you speak with any other recruiter before? No, I guess. Uh, no, no. I, I, I guess you, you will be the first and only one. I guess. Okay. Okay. Yeah, only one. <laughs> However, we are doing lease to buy program only. Okay. Ooh, this... And if you have your own truck, of course, you can come and work for us. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, there, there's painful, uh, too much feedback in the background. Uh, too much noise? Yes, yes, yes. It, it is too much noise. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, all right. Buddy, can you hear me good? Yeah, yeah I, can, I can hear you a little good, but it's like every time you talk, it's like, Noise mm-hmm. just filter right into your right into your speaker. 
Okay, sir. I have your phone number. If you want, I can give you a call later, or we can speak like this. I mean, I can hear you good, but if you want, because of you, I can give you a call later. Oh uh, no, for my direct number. No, nah, we're no, nah, we're good. I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm good because see, I probably might be, I probably might be driving later on. So this is, this is probably my only okay, free time that I got. Um, all right. So can you can you give me a brief background of the company right quick? Because like I said, I'm I'm assuming you guys is like super new. Like I haven't even heard. I, I tried to look your company up on the on the Internet and I I just can't find nothing. OK, sir. So I can tell you more about least to buy program that we have. We are offering trucks that are 2016 and 2020. 2016 trucks would be on two and a half years contract, uh, $500 a week for a truck payment, and 2020 trucks are on five years contract, 650 a week for a truck payment. You can get both trucks for zero money down. In that case, you'll have to be on something that is called two weeks behind model for a paycheck because the company is not checking your credit ability. If you don't want to be on a hold for a paycheck, you need to put some money down like $2,000 for 2016 and $3,000 for 2020 trucks, and you will receive your paycheck directly. Uh, any questions so far? Okay, so uh, tr uh, so you guys got trucks that are 2016. Uh, if I if I, mm -hmm. if I I go with a 2016 truck, how many miles is already on that truck, though? It depends. Uh, they are not the same uh, mileage on them because, you know, different things are going on with the trucks. So you can expect like 250,000 miles to, to, let's say, 400,000 miles, not more than, than 400 or 450. Because these these trucks are already like uh, classified like old trucks and we are not working with these old trucks. Okay. You know, so you can expect anything like like two hundred fifty to four hundred. Okay. And and are and are the are <laughs> and are the trucks rail maintained? Uh, yes, maintenance is on the driver, of course. If there is a maintenance that needs to be done, it will be done, but it, the driver is going to be charged for that. So keep that in mind when you are choosing the truck. Keep that in mind that you need to choose the best truck that you want. And then... Uh, you You are not going to have much maintenance on them. 2020 trucks are under warranty, so the the story is different with them. All right. So the 20 so the 2020 trucks that are under warranty, that's a five year lease. Yes, five years uh, lease and the five years warranty. Okay, so I got warranty and lease, and the five and the 2020 truck will be six hundred dollars a week. A week on five years contract, uh, and uh, they're they're 2020 and 21 zero mileage on them, mostly zero mileage. Some of them are having some like small mileage because uh, they travel, I guess, from dealership to our yard, or you know, they so, didn't have been they haven't been driven a lot. That's, so that's what I want to say. So these, so would these, would these lease trucks, would is, what is it? Is it, is it a walkaway lease on there? And I'm leasing through a, it's uh, a walkaway lease. Yeah. all right. So I'm, I'm leasing through, I'm leasing through you guys independently, or I'm leasing through a, in a, 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 a different contract. I mean, contractor for a lease. Well, it works like this. You will sign up the lease agreement with us, and then when you finish the contract, the truck will be yours. There is no balloon payment in the end of the contract, so uh, a truck will be yours after the last uh, the last paycheck, right? Okay. However, it's a walkaway lease, so whenever you want to walk away in the middle of the contract, in the beginning of the contract, whenever you decide to walk away, we are not going to charge you for the rest of the contract. You just need to bring the truck back to the yard. All right. And so everything is fine. Right. So being that I'm that I'm leasing from you guys from you guys directly, I'm not able to take the truck with me if I'm leaving. No, sir. 
you need to work under our authorities and you cannot uh, take the truck to another company or on or work under your MC number. I mean, you can have your own company if you want to to just uh, take the money to that business account, but uh, you are not allowed to take the truck to another company or do something like independently. Mm-hmm. So and that's the rule. So until until the truck until the truck becomes mine, I I won't be able to modify it any kind of way, right? Well, more or less, yes. Uh, that's right. You're okay. Right. Okay. Uh, you are not allowed until you pay off the truck. Then after that, you can uh, change the color. You can do whatever you want with the truck after you finish the contract with us. Okay. Truck okay. Is in your uh, and then if you want to, you can stay and work for us if you are satisfied with us, of course. And as the owner operator, I mean, the pe- people that are having their own trucks and coming in and working for us, uh, they will get 90% of the load. And the people that are doing like lease to buy program with our trucks, they are going to get uh, 88% of the load. Okay, okay. That's can you? Can, I don't want to can can you give me a brief background of the company? Like how long y'all been in how long y'all been in business? Well, uh, we have been in business like seven years already. We have more than six hundred trucks on the road right now, and we are having new trucks every single week until the new year. So, as long as I know, I think we will have like around seven hundred trucks uh, into the next year. Something okay. Something like that. We we are like spreading our business. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. Uh, all right, so let's say I decide that I want to give you guys a try. Uh, what what do I need to bring for orientation, or is there orientation? Well, first of all, you need to apply for right. us. You're applying right. by sending me the front page of your city, Ellen Medical. Mm-hmm. I'm send, I'm checking your NVR experience, and then I'm sending that to safety. Mm-hmm. When safety approves you, you can come to Chicago. You will choose the truck first, and then you will do the drug test. The drug test will be on you. It will cost you eighty dollars. Is that okay with you? Uh yeah. I guess this is something that I want to get into. <laughs> That's why I'm doing my research. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the drug, um, so the drug test, after- so the drug screening, the drug screening is on me. That's out of my pocket, not yours. What about coming? What about getting up to Chicago? Uh, is that on me as Same well? Thing. Same thing as well. Yeah. You need to provide your own transportation to Chicago. And if you don't want to sleep in a hotel, if you don't want to stay in a hotel, you can sleep in the truck that you chose until you receive your drug test results. Okay. Uh, when your drug test results become um, like negative, uh, you are good to go. We are sending you on the road. Okay. Uh, now, well, now, now let me ask you. I wanted so- to tell you about your. Mm-hmm. Now let me ask you something about the about the hotel. We we. You guys don't provide the hotel either? No. Okay. Unfortunately not. Okay, okay. All right. So, all right. So, let me ask you this. So, you say you you was mentioning about uh the CPM, right? The cent per mile for a lease purchase driver is 88 88 88% of the low percent not cent per mile cent per mile is something that we pay like the company drivers oh okay and as of and let me get but this right now as of right now y'all not yeah y'all don't have so we're we're just strictly talking about lease if i'm interested in coming into lease right mm-hmm. okay yeah yeah, yeah. So, so let's you stay will, you will get mm-hmm. yeah yeah so let's stay on that um so 88 88 percent of the total uh of the of the total low right so what will be my average uh what will be my average pay a week it depends on the market and it depends on how much you want to drive right uh first of all let's go from the dispatch in our company there is no forced dispatch because dispatch is really important for the driver right and for the growth 
Okay. You have good communication with your dispatcher. That's the big thing, right? Right. So we have 24-7 dispatch service available, and it's not a forced dispatch, which means that you can refuse any offer that you don't like, like rate confirmation or driving to the mountains, anything similar to that. You can refuse it and take something else. Also, you can decide where to go. Like, for example, you can tell your dispatcher in advance, hey, I don't want to go to New York. I don't want to go here and there, but just don't be too, like, how to say, picky, right? Okay. Because that's not good with driving as well, right, if you're picking too much. Okay. Uh, so uh, another thing that is really good in uh, not for this patch is that you can choose your own home time. Right, right, So right. you just need to tell your dispatcher a bit in advance, and then uh, he will book you low to your house. Okay. So, so well, if, with good things like this, basically you can be the whole month on the road if you want. Okay. Right now the market is really good. Uh, usually the average for the loads goes from 2.1 to 2.5 dollars a mile, but right now the market is really good as you probably know. Right, right. So because you can expect more money per mile like 3 to 4 dollars, 3 3.5. Now, now let I me guess. ask now let me ask you this. You said something about being dispatching and working with a dispatcher, but do you guys do mm -hmm. do you guys yeah. have a low board that we can choose from as well or the dispatcher is the one that does no. all the choosing? No. Dispatcher is the one that is choosing it for you, and you will receive rate confirmation before each load. And you can take it, you can refuse it, and take something else, or you can, you know, how it works. You can negotiate, I guess. Okay. I never worked as a dispatcher, but I heard the story. You know, I heard from dispatchers that drivers are negotiating about that. So oh, okay. I guess you can do that as well. So, however, okay. you are free to refuse anything that you don't like. Like if you receive uh, something that is not paid that good, mm -hmm. you can refuse it. You can take something else. You can ask for something else. So you can balance uh, with the things. However, the average for a solo driver is three to four thousand miles a week. So you don't have to like. Uh, if you want more miles and more loads, you'll be provided. It will be provided to you, so you will never be like waiting for the loads. And we have loads all the time. Okay. We okay. Have quite big company, a lot of trucks on the road, and uh, our dispatch team is really big. So you'll be provided. Uh, uh, mileage will be provided to you. Uh, uh, okay. Whenever. All right. When the market so, is good, when the market is bad, we have a lot of mileage. So Miles. this, so uh, this, uh, you know, lease purchase is is, is ten ninety nine, right? Is is you you get? I'm I'm responsible for everything across the board, uh, taxes, insurance, uh, health insurance, yeah, four hundred one ks, and all that yeah. other good stuff, right? I'm not familiar with the health insurance and everything else, but the drivers, they know when I say 1099, they are already know what I'm talking about. Exactly. So, exactly. Yes, you will be, you will be on, on 1099 program. Is that it's okay with you? Of course. That's fine. That's fine. Let me ask you this. Uh, what about, what, what about, uh, what about other paid uh, payments to the driver? Like, do we get paid uh, layovers, <laughs> detention, or anything like that as a 1099 driver? I think uh, layovers. I need to check that. Hello? Uh, I just talked with my colleague. So detention is provided by bro brokers, as she told me, and uh, layovers. Uh, it depends, I guess, on the dispatcher and on the situation, I guess. Okay. So I cannot quite answer you that one. So, I got but you. I'm pretty sure that the pensions are provided by brokers. Gotcha. Uh, what else I wanted to tell you? I wanted to tell you more about the deductions that you are going to have for the truck. Okay, uh, tell me about that. And deductions are registration, which is $2,500 for a whole year. That fee is going to be taken off from your first 10 paychecks. Trailer rent is 180 a week, and cargo insurance is 250 a week. 
uh, bobtail entrance depends on year of the truck that you are taking. So 2016 uh, bobtail entrance will be $375 a month. And for 2020 trucks, that amount is $440 monthly. Uh, also, there is ELD1 program, which is $150 monthly as well. So these monthly fees like ELD1 and the Bobtail are going to be taken off from your first paycheck in every week. So the first week in a month will be around, will be always higher than next three weeks. So let's say that you are taking 2020 truck. Okay. The first week in a month will be around 1800 and next three weeks will be around 1300 when you pay off the registration fee which is after 10th week all your deductions are going lower for 250 so uh, first week in a month after you pay off the registration will be around around 15 to 1600 and next three weeks will be around a thousand dollars for the rest of the year for you know uh, until you get the new re okay. until you need to the registration for the truck. Okay, so let's uh, so let's there. talk about let's let's talk about more about the truck. So when I when I pick my own truck, whether Another it's a, w whether it's a sixteen or a twenty or twenty twenty one, uh, what all what all mm -hmm. comes with the truck, and what type of what type of equipment would I be choosing from? Okay, so trucks there are 2016 first of all are manual keep that in mind and 2020 and 20 are, are mostly automatic so now you know where what do you prefer manual or automatic okay. uh, 2020 mostly are having APUs not all of them but mostly are having APUs or they have microwaves and stuff like that okay. and um, trucks that you are going to be uh, that you are going to choose will be Kenworth, Cascadia for sure and sometimes there will be Volvo on the yard okay. 760 probably okay. so uh, this is what I know so far gotcha gotcha so being that this truck right here I will be responsible for I will be responsible for maintenance I will be responsible for payments I will be responsible for the insurance uh do these do these trucks come with driver cams driver cam like camera inside of the bump tail yes yes uh, I need to check that. Okay. I will ask that. Are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, okay. So also, uh, what do you want to know about the trucks? Uh, do they I mean, come do they come with a do they come with a drive with, with a I mean with a driver camera? Yeah, I will. I'll ask that later. Oh, oh, okay. All right. So my next, I only got a few more questions for you. Um, so when drivers okay. like when we call into our dispatchers, you know, to get the load and everything, um, how long how long will we get a response back? Can you repeat, please? How, when we talk to our dispatcher, how long will we get a response back? Well, I guess as soon as possible because there is only one dispatcher responsible for a couple of trucks, so they don't have like 10 trucks at the same time. So I guess it's quite quick. Okay. I would say. I wouldn't say that it's like a couple of hours, probably. Uh, because I'm not in the same office with the dispatchers, so I don't know how it works, to be honest. But I guess it's not that. I mean, I can ask. That's, I can ask. Yeah, that won't be a problem. What about what about driver turnover? What's your turnover rate? Turnover. Yes. What is that? Yo, like the retention, like how many people stay, how many people leave. Mm, what 
well, that is... Well, uh, that's a question that I really don't know to answer, so I can give you a call after I check with the safety. I guess they have these, like, statistics. Oh, okay. Well, that's about it for me. I, I do appreciate your time. Not a problem, sir. Can All you right. check your messages really quick? Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it. So you can leave me your email address. I can send you everything over that I told you right now. Basically, I just, I think I told you all the main things. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We, yeah. we we pretty much, we. We pretty much. I still want you to have that right email. So whenever you get ready to apply, you need to send me the front page of your CDL and medical. And we'll keep in touch anyway. I'll give you a call from time to time to see if you're still interested. Not, not a problem. I'll take this information with me and I'll share it. Thank you so much. All right. Send me your email address and we'll keep in touch. Thank you. Bye-bye. Super ego, everybody. painful oh man that was painful i'm not sure like if she was on bluetooth or anything like that but it was like everything was like funneling right into my ears like i can literally hear everything in the background it was like when i was talking i heard the reverb back from me like it, and it was it was it was painful, at least towards the end. But all in all, what do you guys think of that call? Super ego. Man, I uh the more and more of these uh Illinois companies that I'm calling, the more and more that I'm realizing that I'm gonna say maybe about 80% of the companies that are in Illinois. Of course, you know, I call them black ops companies for a reason, but the more and more I call these companies, the more and more I realize that these particular lease companies right here that, that wants you to be a 1099 driver and nothing else are, I, I'm, I'm going to obviously, I'm, I'm going to safely say that these type of companies are for drivers that's looking to get in, get their money and get out. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say that these particular companies are companies that they want to grow and retire with. Now, unless you already have a mindset of becoming an owner operator, and this is the route where you want to go to be said owner operator, then this is good. If you, if, if you on that road, you know, maybe going, maybe going with these type of companies that's offering about 88% of the load is probably good. You know, you got other companies that's giving you 70 cents a mile. You got other companies that's giving you 65 cents a mile. So you're still able to come in to make about a good, maybe two, 2,000, 2,500 to $3,000 a week. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you're going to come in and want to make that kind of money, then this probably might be the spot for you guys to come in now now let me just tell you something all right this is not for the week you know because when you go lease you can you can get fucked up this particular company right here wants you responsible for everything for the truck for the insurance for the cargo insurance you you paying for you paying for the truck about five hundred dollars a week or six hundred dollars or six hundred and fifty dollars a week for a brand new truck then you got the trailer payment that you got to pay for a week then you got your permits and all like that it's a lot of stuff that you got to consider in the long run when coming over to these type companies you know you can't just jump into this company thinking hey you know this that and the third because you know you also got to realize that like she said it's about how much you want to run if you want to make that money now she also said that you're not you're not forced dispatch so you don't have to be forced dispatch but 
of course, being a lease driver, I wouldn't imagine you would be. You're able to choose your own loads. She says the market is real good. So you're able to pay, you're able to get, you know, a fair market value about two, three dollars a load. Uh, that's on average. Um, she also says that, you know, company that, you know, that again, I, I did mention the fact that you are responsible for everything. So this company, like I said, is is for drivers that are runners. You know what I'm saying? They don't have a load board, so you won't be able to pick your own load, but you'll be able to pick and choose the loads that the dispatchers get for you. So if a dispatcher gets you a load that you're not that you're not good with, then you don't have to accept it. Don't have to go into New York City. You don't have to go to California, all that craziness and all like that. You could, like I say, you could choose wherever you want to go. But uh, but is this the company for this? This this isn't the company for the weak at heart. You know, the weak at heart, the lazy, the lazy drivers, the weak at heart drivers, the drivers that don't have the men that that want to go home every week, the the homesick drivers. This isn't for you. This company isn't for you. It, it isn't. I don't think any particular company of this magnitude is for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, let me see. Super Ego. They are located. Let me tell you guys what they are located at. Uh, they are located. Where are you located? I know that Bensonville, Illinois. Yep. Bensonville, Illinois. Their phone numbers, if you're interested in coming on with this company, it is 630-506-8869. Again, 630-506-8869. Now, when you're talking to this particular recruiter, make sure that you pay attention to the details. It's always, always in the details. Uh, before you sign on, you got to send in your CDL along with your along with your medical card. Then, of course, they'll go through the simple checks. Oh, also your hotel stay, your way to get up here and your uh, drug test is all on you. You know what I'm saying? So you're responsible for the drug test, your way up here, and your hotel stay. She did say that if you didn't want to stay in a hotel, you could stay in the truck until your drug test comes back positive. So remember that when you're 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 coming to this company. All right. Okay, Super Ego out of Bensonville, Illinois. Is this the company for you? What do you guys think of the call? If you guys think that, you know, that this, if you're a runner, what do you think of the call? Now, you won't be able to take the truck with you after, you know, for whatever reason, you know, if you, you can walk away from the lease. So I guess that's a good thing. You can walk away. There's no balloon payment. So once you get finished with the lease, you'll be able to take the truck with you. Super Ego. Illinois, Black Ops. <laughs> what do you guys think? If you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Hit that bell and that all button. And, and also to let you know that all button lets you know when I drop videos and when I go live. I normally go live about 8 o'clock-ish, sort of say. Um, I go live about 8 o'clock-ish, give or take, but... You know, you, you know, I got I got some good stuff on the horizon for you guys. If you guys want to support these calls, definitely hook a brother up with some coffee, man. You know, the coffee app is in the description below as well as the cash app. You can also join the community. You know what I'm saying? Help, you know, get these calls for these people to know about these companies. Help me help you get these calls out. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. This is Lockout Man for Lockout Man Podcast. And this is the MTC edition of the Lockout Man Podcast. Until next time, everybody, get your uh, get your suggestions in. 
Whoever you want me to call next, you can do that in the comments below. You can do that in the DM. It will probably be easier to do it over in the DM over on Instagram. That's That probably might be the easiest. If you want to hit me up in the Gmail, that's LockoutMenPodcast at gmail.com. Until next time, y'all stay blessed, and I will come back at you with another video. Peace. Cause baby, once I'm gone, I ain't coming back. But you gon' have to settle with another man. But when you realize, don't be running back. Ain't no sunshine.